Hello everybody and welcome to day five of my beginner sewing course. As you can see, we have a little background change. Uh, I got some lights and this pink sewing machine. Uh, my friend's mom got it for like five bucks somewhere and she just gave it to me. So I think it's a good new addition and it works. So mm, super fun. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to choose the right fabric for your sewing project. So let's get into it. So let's start by categorizing the three types of fabric. So we have woven fabrics, non-woven fabrics, and knits. So let's start with woven fabrics. So woven fabrics are made by weaving horizontal web threads through vertical wrap threads. Uh, it's typically non-stretch, though it can be stretchy if it's mixed with lycra slash or spandex. In a woven fabric, the threads are interlocking by going over and under each other. In your sewing journey, you're probably going to be working with woven fabrics the most. Let's move on to knit fabrics. Uh, they are produced through knitting, but it's done by a machine. It's not just uh, a person doing that by hand. That would take forever. Uh, there are a lot of different um, knit patterns and those patterns will affect the way that the fabric looks in the end. And also it's gonna affect the amount of stretch that it has. Contrary to woven fabrics, uh, knit fabrics are gonna have yarns looping each other, giving more room and space for the threads to move around, therefore allowing stretch naturally. You will also probably working uh, with a lot of knits in your sewing journey as well. Um, now the last type is non-woven fabrics and it's basically like the Hufflepuff of <laughs> fabrics. Um, all the other fabrics that don't fit in uh, the other two categories go in <laughs> non-woven fabrics. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love Hufflepuffs. They have their own qualities and their own space in the Hogwarts houses. I love them. So anyway, Non-woven is probably the type of fabric you're going to be working with the least, but it's still important to note. Um, okay, so here are the most common fabrics you're going to find at a fabric store. After that, I'm going to show you how to categorize them. So we have Organza. Uh, it's a lightweight, plain weave fabric. Uh, it's sheer, breathable, and flimsy. We have Chiffon. Uh, it's a lightweight, plain weave fabric. Uh, sheer and semi-transparent. Semi-transparent? I don't know. Semi or semi. Uh, voile, don't mind the accent. Um, lightweight plain weave fabric made from cotton. Taffeta fabric, it's a crisp lightweight plain weave fabric and it's smooth to the touch. Uh, single jersey, uh, that's a lightweight knit fabric. Uh, the right side of this fabric is smooth while the wrong side is more textured due to the way uh, it is made. And it stretches in both the straight grain direction and the cross grain direction. And it also curls at the edges. Interlock jersey. Um, it's a medium weight variation of ribbed knit. Uh, both the right side and the wrong side of this fabric are smooth and it's sometimes categorized as double knit because of its two layers. But those two layers cannot be separated. Uh, interlock is more stable than jersey and it doesn't stretch out of shape and curl at the edges. Velvet. Uh, it can range from lightweight to heavyweight depending on the fabric. It's closely woven, soft, smooth, shiny fabric used for luxurious garments. Sateen, tightly woven medium weight fabric. Uh, it's smooth, silk-like, and it has a lustrous sheen. Chambray is a medium weight cotton plain weave fabric. Uh, wool felt, that's a heavyweight non-woven textile. Uh, that's because there's no thread or weaving involved. And it's wool mixed with heat, moisture, and agitation. Denim, it is a heavyweight woven twill fabric made from cotton. So now that you know a little bit more about fabrics, um, there are three things that you should consider when buying fabric for your sewing project. So the first thing is the fabric weight, then the fabric drape, and then the fabric stretch. Let's start with fabric weight. So there are three categories. Again, we have lightweight, medium weight, and heavy weight. Now, how do you measure the weight of a fabric? Um, you're not going to bring a scale to the fabric store. That's not how you do it. Um, you need to learn about the fabrics and what they are. So in appearance, these fabrics might not look too different from each other in terms of weight, but they are. If you've owned a pair of jeans in your life, you know that denim is heavier than that satin dress you wore at prom. So feeling these fabrics is the first great way to identify their weight. You might come across tool at the store and right away you're going to know it's a lightweight fabric because it's lighter than a feather. Some fabrics are harder to differentiate even in feel though. Um, like I listed before, we have single jersey and interlock jersey. Uh, these two fabric may look and feel similar, but they don't belong in the same weight category. Single jersey is a lightweight fabric and interlock jersey is a medium weight fabric. So I put together a little chart of all the different types of fabric um, divided in weight categories. So you can just write that down in your uh, sewing Bible and 
come back to it when you're at a fabric store. It's gonna help you um, choose the right fabric. Second thing to look for uh, when you're shopping is the fabric drape. So what is drape? It's basically just the way that the fabric flows. Some dresses are stiff while others are flowy. For example, a tweed dress is stiff while a silk dress is drapey. A dress with less drape will be more structured and tend to stick to your body while a dress with more drape will have movement and not stick to your body. Think of when you're twirling in a dress and the dress just kind of seems to have a mind of its own. Um, that's how you know the drape is good. Common misconception, uh, just because a fabric is lightweight does not mean it will have more drape. A fabric can be lightweight and stiff just as a fabric can be heavyweight and drapey. Uh, you'll be able to tell whether a fabric has a good amount of drape or not uh, if you're shopping in person because you can just feel it, uh, hold it over your body and see how well it drapes. Look at this one, it's not stiff at all. It has a really nice drape. So what you can do is just hold it in the bias direction and if it flows and has movement, then it has drape and if it remains stiff, then it has less drape. Uh, if you're shopping online and you can't feel the drape of fabric, you can just refer to this guide to help ensure that you know the drape of your fabric. Also write that down in your Bible. And now the third thing to look for when buying a fabric is the fabric stretch. So testing out the stretch of your fabric is yet another thing that's easier done in person. Uh, again, not every fabric is made equal. Uh, just because two fabrics are stretchy does not mean that they both have the same amount of stretch. So we have two-way stretch and a four-way stretch. What's the difference? To put it simply, a two-way stretch fabric stretches in one direction, whereas a four-way stretch fabric stretches in both directions. There is more to that if you want a deeper understanding of how fabrics are made and why they stretch. Uh, you can look online and find some really good resources that will help you get answers, but I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible. Uh, be careful when purchasing a pattern that calls for stretchy fabrics, because if it calls for a four-way stretch fabric and you buy a two-way stretch fabric, um, after you've sewn it together, it will only stretch in one direction and it's not gonna fit. All right, now you've bought your fabric, you know that is the right one for your project. Um, what settings do you use on your sewing machine? Because they will change depending on what fabric you bought. Let's start with needles. Uh, so there are a couple of needle types. We have universal needles. Uh, they're gonna pierce through most medium weight fabrics and they're called universal because they're the most commonly used. Ballpoint needles, there are needles with a rounded tip to push down the fabric instead of piercing it and they're used for knits. Stretch needles, uh, they're similar to ballpoint needles with the tip being less rounded. Uh, that prevents skip stitches, making it perfect for fabrics with a lot of elasticity, aka lycra or spandex. I recommend using stretch needles when working with active wear or swimwear. When sewing denim, you're going to need a very thick, strong, and sharp needle. Okay, now you chose the right needle type, let's move on to the needle size. They come in three sizes. The smaller size is best for lightweight fabrics, the medium size is best for medium weight fabrics, and the bigger size is best for heavyweight fabrics. Now, uh, the stitch length. What length of stitch should you use depending on the fabric that you got? Well, it's all depending on the weight of your fabric. If you got a lightweight fabric, a 1.5 to 2 millimeter is best. Uh, for medium weight fabrics, it is going to be a 2 to 2.5 millimeter. And if you got a heavyweight fabric, it's best uh, to go with 3 to 4 millimeter. And when it comes to stitch length, I like to use a longer stitch on knit fabrics. Let's do a little quiz. That could be fun. Um, let's say you bought chambray fabric. Um, that is a woven, medium weight, not very drapey, not very stretchy fabric. So which needle type would you use? Answer in three, two, one. I would use a universal needle. Now, what size would you use? Three, two, one. Medium size. Why? Because it is a medium weight fabric. And now which stitch length would you use? Answer in three, two, one, two to 2.5 millimeter. This quiz was pretty easy. Um, well, I, th I guess that's it. So this is basically everything that you need to know about fabrics. Uh, but like I said before, if you want uh, more in-depth information, you can just find it online. But with this, you should be good. So what is your homework? Um, well, review everything that you wrote down in your Bible and also uh, look at all the different fabrics that I told you about before, like Val, Chiffon, all of that, and see which uh, stitch length you would use, which needle size, and which needle type. And try to remember if it's like a lightweight, uh, medium weight, or heavyweight fabric, uh, and if it has a lot of drape or no, and if it's a woven or non-woven or knit fabric.
I guess that's all. So I'll see you in day six where we're going to be learning how to cut your fabric. So I'll see you then.